Yesterday, during the scraping process, the rocks on the cliff could not be shifted. To facilitate access for the carts, they attempted to move small rocks first. The stone is still firmly stuck to the cliff, making removal difficult. As they continue to work on removing the rock, I am curious about the view from the top of the cliff. I will try to locate the upper mine from this vantage point. Perhaps others are also curious about the location and what it looks like. Let's explore. The area above the cliff appears to be quite expansive. I will attempt to get closer and inspect from this side. Upon inspection from the right side of the location, it appears that Manual sand seekers are still present in the far corner, where trucks come and go on the access road to fill their loads. On this side, there are also sand miners. The workers mine on steep cliffs, visible from above, and dispose of rocks in the designated area. The remaining plant roots, avalanches, and unused rocks are located above. Despite the challenging terrain, the workers continue to mine with great determination. The session was ended early today since there were no trucks waiting. I was also invited to go home. The process of scraping sand on the cliff was completed for now. Descending from the top to the bottom location is challenging due to the steep cliff and limited access. The only available path is narrow and a misstep could result in a fall. Despite the view from here, the descent is daunting and caution is necessary.
Interestingly, climbing up the cliff is easier than climbing down. I will move away from this green, moss-covered rock slowly. The moss makes it slippery, so I need to be careful. Before proceeding, it may be wise to secure the camera and search for a safer route. I have safely reached the bottom. This concludes the video. Stay tuned for our next video. Merapi miners say goodbye and thank you for watching.